soup with baby meatballs. We've got about three cups of rotisserie chicken, three quarters of a pound of super lean ground beef, a little breadcrumb that we're going to moisten with some milk right now for our baby meatballs. So chop up the greens, two ribs of celery, one large onion or two small, four cloves of garlic, and two carrots. The biggest, most beautiful bay leaf I've ever seen in my life is also going into the pot. Now, normally I add garlic much later to the pan, but we have so much veg going in here, it's not gonna burn. It's gonna sweat. All we have to do is add a little kosher salt or fine sea salt to this, and then look what's gonna happen. All we do is coat all the veg with a little bit of EVOO, which covered the bottom of the pot, so let's say three tablespoons, three slow turns of the pan. And then we're gonna partially cover. What does that mean? Let a little bit of steam escape, but trap most of the heat. The breadcrumb is now moist. It absorbed every bit of the milk. We're good there. The rest of the moisture comes from the egg and texture. We're gonna add one egg to the three quarter pound of very lean sirloin, half a cup of grated cheese, pecorino parmer combo. And then here are your flavor uh, elements. Parsley, a good fat tablespoon of parsley. Oregano, this is all dried of course, granulated onion, granulated garlic. Oregano, onion and garlic, all about a teaspoon. Just the parsley gets the heavy hand there. A good fat drizzle of olive oil around the bowl. And a little salt and black or red pepper for the meat itself. You mix all this stuff together, this deliciousness together. And once you get those breadcrumbs incorporated, you're done. You don't want to overmix it, you don't want to make them tight. You take the tiniest bit of meat, kind of the size of a nickel, a little bigger than a dime, and you're done. We do not want to drop them in until everybody's done though. Of course, like shapes and sizes, same cooking time, right? So I'm gonna roll a whole lot of baby meatballs, and when those vegetables sweat, we're going to add two and a half quarts of liquid. Now that can be vegetable stock if you're making a vegetarian version. It can be two quarts of chicken stock. It can be a little bone broth. It can be water mixed with chicken stock. You're still gonna get the flavor from the meat cooking, the dumplings cooking, and the rotisserie chicken if you're eating it with chicken. All of that flavor is gonna be in there. You're gonna be fine. Now I am just shredding up one head of escarol, or you can buy a 12 ounce bundle or, or bunch of medium um, spinach to wilt in. And we're cooking our dumplings, and then we're gonna add about a half a pound of our pasta. Okay, about a half a package. And this is cavatelli, so we're gonna stir that together and let it cook in the soup to thicken it. Now, if you wanted to serve this over many days, I strongly suggest cooking the pasta on the side so that it does not become overcooked. So we're gonna add the chicken in. We have so much protein in this dish and so many vegetables. The very last thing, once we let these meatballs go another six, seven minutes, and the pasta is almost there, uh, al dente to the tooth, to the bite, when it's just about there, that's when we add the greens because we just want to wilt them in there and keep them tender crisp. I'm taking out the bay leaf. It's done its job. We're going to add that little squirt of lemon juice. It's traditional in my family whenever we make a soup like this. Grab the ladle. Honey, are you excited? I am indeed, as I hold the camera precipitously above the pot of soup. <laughs> oh, so gorgeous. 